No way. No way. Studio 14 is today of the uh, album number seven sessions. That's right. The songs are blossoming. You know what I mean, Gene? Some sound clips, y'all. We got sound clips in this. Uh, dude screaming. Um, fucking, uh, what is it? What was it? Thunder. Fucking crazy thunder, dude. Um, it's like, woo, 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 kind of stuff going on. Some psychedelic horror movie stuff. We got you. We got you. Um, <laughs> you know, the roots. Thanks. The guy. Hi. Hi, I'm so excited for this coffee. So Thank you. What is it exactly? What do you always order? Is it? I think so. It looks like it. Uh, oh, Iced coffee and two Good. heavy scoops of whipped cream. Oh, yeah, that's it. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. I definitely need it. Stakes are very high since the last record. Baby made me the, made the mistake of playing me the video you made for the first and last song in the last record. Because yeah. I was already freaking out a little bit about, how do we follow up that last record? <laughs> and I was like, no, you know what, this is just a stripped down, a little more, like, basic You asked record, for it, right? buddy. You are like... <laughs> yeah, I know. And then, and then I wanted to hear it. Well, I wanted to hear it because I had no recollection <laughs> of what we did for the intro, other than I knew it was a spooky, atmospheric horror thing. <laughs> and so I was trying to build a beginning for He Who Flees the Light, and I was like, you know what, we better listen to that just so I know I'm not accidentally, like accidentally doing the ripping myself off right? <laughs> and luckily it was much different I, I have a very different opening because it's a very different kind of song but uh, I, we heard both those and after that I was like even more like oh my god how are we going to follow that? that that's a masterpiece we are creating horror <laughs> rock history here though it's being cemented into since it's such a small niche what we do does have a big impact on the whole scene <laughs> kind of the well for real I, I mean i take every record very seriously but even more so for bands i've worked with a lot today uh jimmy and bobby came to the studio reviewed the songs uh what hogan and i have been doing to them believe it or not he who flees the light ended up having a full well should I tell them? No, 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 no. no. Oh, let, him, let him experience it. <laughs> a full, no, that's it. They're never going to hear the first, you know the first thing I added to the yeah. chorus? You're never going to hear the first um, thing. Let them experience it, then you and can And then I'll tell them what it is. Break okay. it down. So what this is, is here? this is my, much, this is right? my, also my mission on this record, what I've tried to do is get the mix pretty dang close, and then the, hopefully the only thing I'll have to do in mixing is uh, make the vocals sit properly. I haven't messed with that yet. The trouble we have is, the last record we made was this really mature, opus thing. And it's a real trick. My favorite bands who made big opus records, the records that came after were always lukewarm greeted because you can't make another big epic because then it just feels like you did the same thing. But if you scale down a little bit, it's very hard to like do it in a way where instead of being like, Oh, yeah. No, I mean, this is cool too, but like, I mean, the last one I heard it just blew me away. So you kind of have to intentionally Turn make right. it obvious to the listener that like, you know what, this is absolutely nothing like the last experience you got from us. So this is the proposed beginning I have sorted out for your record. All
We don't need vocals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they enjoy it. They like them. It's definitely evolved over time, you know, the songs. Because uh, what Jimmy and Bobby would know would be the, um, the rock and roll, right? But with me and Hogue, we added the extra fancy spice and spook spice. You know, I'm calling it spook spice. And spook spice to this. Well, let me show you all the crazy like, shit that constitutes that. Surfing. First of all, what? we might need to make these louder. I don't feel like they were big enough. The we orchestral a ramp. Yeah, we need a I just wanted something low and... Oh yeah, the last one has a lot of extra stuff. It's got a high trumpet to mention book, right? <laughs> like a fucking madman with my uh, Instax uh, instant film camera. <laughs> had everybody, had the Triforce dude, had the fucking Triforce in the building. And I needed um, to capture it, I needed to capture it. So I got tons of group shots of Jimmy, Bobby and I, and then I even did a bunch of uh, shots with uh, Hogue and the gang, you know, I uh, attempted some uh, Instax instant camera uh, selfies. First one, uh, second one, pretty all right. No way. No way. Dig the pig. <laughs> yeah, the pig. Can you hear that pig? Is it out there? <laughs> Among it's demons, it's dude. I had a lot of like cool. Goblin-esque, John Carpenter, vibey, you know, keyboards to the songs. Uh, I know they dig that. I dig that. You know, awesome. Suspiria's fucking sick. You know, Suspiria-esque, but just Goblin. You know, Argento stuff. Uh, playing homage to our Italian horror roots. Here's what's in the chorus of this. Do some EQing to make it obvious, but here's what you're hearing. I think it's safe to say that each album has a certain feel and uh, aspect to it um, compared to, I don't know, other bands. No. That's what's been in there, yeah. That's the thing that's in this. You oh. just can't tell that it's having a pattern. It's why you're like, I feel like I hear it. Um, 
song. The elevated super sad song. <laughs> Thing, but. Then Bob laid down some, Bobby laid down some uh, guitars, uh, some more heavy guitars to lay on that. We talked about the album title, and they're not fully sold on it yet. I dig it. I think it's iconic. Uh, Flee the Light. I think that's pretty sick. It's shorthand for one of our songs, He Who Flees the Light. Um, you might be into it. Not sure. It might be something else. Uh, still untitled. All in all, great day. So yeah, on to the next. <laughs> 